355,510 days out of them for your meeting with Mr. Farrell. Please proceed to the 35th floor. Wait, wait, wait. 350,000. That's hundreds of years ago. What's going on? Solutions, where all the problems of tomorrow are being solved today. With over 25,000 human employees based in nations and corporate holdings across the globe, Ferro leads the world in every sector of self-sustaining, fully automated technology. From revolutionary consumer products close to home, like the Ferro Focus, to the dynamic chariot line of peacekeeping... What was this place? What were they doing here? It was a corporation. A group of people, not unlike a tribe. And they made machines. Yeah, go on. I've uploaded some data files to your focus. They'll help you understand. The air. There's no smell to it. Not even old death. Nothing natural. Another cave in. But I could get through. I'm here. <laughs> Made it. Looks like the way up. What's left of it? Most of the way. Not making this easy, Dr. Sizak. If plants can find a way to hang on up here, I guess I can too. I'd have to ditch something.
got too much already. Takes is a few good handholds. All right, made it. Wonder what we'll find. All data has been erased from this device. Do you wish to deploy alpha privileges to recover purge data? Oh yes, I believe I do. The phone has been recovered. Elizabeth, good to, uh... It's been years. Where's your legal team, Ted? No need. I dropped all 18 lawsuits the moment you landed. I assume your data confirms this. All right, this promises to be interesting. Perhaps we could have lunch brought in. You know, get reacquainted. I know you, Ted. You screwed something up, something big, or you wouldn't have eaten the crow necessary to get me here. So spit it out. There's... a glitch in the chariot line. Your killer robots? Peacekeepers, yes. Those. So shut them down. Obviously, Liz, we would, if we could. They're not responding. Are you telling me a swarm has gone rogue, Ted? It's worse than that. <sighs> Show me the data, then. And I'll take that lunch. Alone. Ted Faro brought Elizabeth Sobek here. But they hated each other. Another phone has been recovered. isn't a glitch. It's a catastrophe. Fully aware. It's bad. Bad? Jesus, Liz. It's not bad, Ted. It's apocalyptic. You built a line of killer robots. Peacekeepers. That consume biomass as fuel. In emergencies. And you made them capable of self-replication. Limited, self-manufacture, controlled. Not anymore. The glitch severed chain of command. The only nation this swarm answers to now is itself. You, you think I did? Everything else is just food. And at the rate it's replicating, Ted, it will strip the Earth bare in 15 months. 
We're not talking the fall of civilization. We're talking extinction. I get it, Liz. So how do I stop it while it's contained? It's not contained. It can't be. You know what I mean. Right. Before the truth gets out, you mean. Liz, I will do anything you say. Keep working it, and whatever you recommend, I'll do. I'm gonna hold you to that, Ted. The Faro robots threatened all life on Earth. But somehow she defeated them. The world of the Old Ones fell, but life went on, or we wouldn't be here. A final fellow has been the problem. Project Zero Dawn. Jesus, Liz. There has to be another way. If there are a nicer way to fix your mess, I would have proposed it. But this? This? When I asked you to find a cure, I didn't expect it to be worse than the disease. It's not, Ted. It may be grim, but it's our only chance. Now sign the proposal. Sign it? I can't sign that. Yes, you can. That? Liz, I cannot in good conscience sign that. You've got a choice, Ted. I know. I'm speaking to you from a VTOL en route to U.S. Robot Command. In 15 minutes, I meet with General Harris and the rest of the Joint Chiefs. What? What? Are you crazy? Now your choice is what I tell them. Sign, and I'll tell them the wealthiest corporation on Earth has guaranteed the funds necessary to build Zero Dawn. Exactly as I've designed it. Or don't sign, and I will make sure they and everyone else on this planet knows the real cause of the glitch. Jesus, Liz. You don't have to threaten me. I'll sign. Look on the bright side, Ted. From here on out, you get to do what you've always been good at. Footing the bill while others get their hands dirty. God forgive me. What made her solution so terrible? What did she do to stop the robots? Executive access detected. Express lift opened. This, this doesn't add up. Sobek couldn't have been my mother. She lived ages ago. All this searching, and I'm still no closer. Was that your reaction to everything you've just learned? To whine like a spoiled child? <sighs> you should really try talking that way to me face to face. As you wish. Do you really have no idea how monumental are the discoveries you just made, Aloy? I expected more of you. So, you have a face. Got a name to go with it? Of all the questions you could ask right now, that's the one you choose. I've spent decades searching the ruins of the Old Ones, trying to solve the mystery of what happened to them. For years, I've suspected that Thero robots destroyed their civilization, but I could never confirm it. And in minutes, you uncover more ancient knowledge than I have in a lifetime, and what you want to know is my name. Silence. That's my name. Now, why don't you try asking another question? Something less trivial. If you're so smart, why do you know so little after a lifetime scratching around in the dirt? It's not my fault you're bad at what you do. I came to these ruins looking for Elizabeth Sobek, not because of the things she did centuries ago, but because people are trying to kill me right now, today! I've got bigger problems to deal with than your crap. Congratulations. You just graduated from whining to throwing a temper tantrum. I'm sure Elizabeth would be proud. You need to get a grip on yourself and start thinking straight. Only then will you see just how big your problems really are. What exactly are you talking about? You've chased a personal riddle into a crowd of larger mysteries. The common thread is your connection to Elizabeth Subic. But what is that connection? 
She couldn't have been my mother if she lived centuries ago. We don't know the connection yet. The only way to find out is to keep going, to keep making discoveries. Thanks to you, we've only just now learned that Pharaoh robots once threatened to end life on Earth. But it didn't happen. The Old One's civilization was destroyed, but life... life was saved. Obviously. So, what did Elizabeth do? How did she stop the robots before all was lost? What was Project Zero Dawn? Exactly the question. Now, are you ready to go get the answer? Of course I am. Then why are you still standing here? You're insufferable, you know that? Let's get on with this. Elizabeth told Ted Faro she was headed for a place called U.S. Robot Command to tell people about Zero Dawn. The place still exists as a ruin. The Asaram call it the Grave Horde. Grave Horde? Cheery name. You'll find it in the Eastern Mountains, buried under the tangled coils of a metal devil, or a BOR-7 Horus, rather, as we're learning to call them. I'll contact you when you get there. I can't wait. Someday we'll meet in person, and your manners had better be improved.
Whoa there. Picking up another signal. There, another tall neck.
in those legs. There must be another way. Where did she go? Thank you. 
machine I can't override. Not until I've learned more. forever.
They're inside too. 